I'm Matt Hand with United Structural, and today I want to talk to you about how I set up a new project in SDS2 using a default fabricator project file and our latest member custom properties flavor file. When setting up a new project, it is very important to review some specific settings prior to modeling to avoid headaches later on in the job. Settings are copied from job to job because primarily you're looking to copy the fabricator values with a few job values left in, such as sheet outlines and some connection data. The problem is that this data is not necessarily consistent from project to project, and forgetting to change these values until later on because you were eager to get those anchor bolt drawings out right away can be anywhere from annoying to downright ruinous. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna be starting our new job. So we start off by clicking on Change Project, and then we will select New. And then you'll notice that there's a lot of settings in here that are useful and should be coming forward, but not everything we're gonna need. So we're gonna start off with typing in our job name. And then we're going to turn on copy job from and then we will be selecting the default fabricator file project that we've already created for this particular fabricator. Now we are going to need to turn off copy custom property schemas and then we will go ahead and set our latest version of our member custom properties flavor file. Set a number of members that is well above what we're going to require. Now you'll notice that the joist manufacturer is grayed out and that's because we're copying from an existing job that doesn't have anything other than default set up. So we're going to have to deal with that later once we get into the settings of the job. So now we've created our project. We're going to go into utility functions and now we're going to have to go into the joist manufacturing manager and add our manufacturer for this project, which will be Volcraft. Now you're not done there. We've got a lot more settings to go. They've really spread out the joist manufacturer settings and the joist connection settings over a lot of different things. So the first thing that we're going to need to do once we've added that additional manufacturer is go in under the manufacturer setup and actually set that as the manufacturer because it's still set to default. Once we've set it to Volcraft, now we can choose the pre-configured joist panel configuration and we have to agree to the terms. And now we'll be able to get those nice BIM joists in our model. But we're still not done. So now what we need to do is go up to the auto standard connections and and set up your connections from joists just like you would for beams to columns, columns to beams, and any other situation in here. And then you go under your fabricator setup. This is where you can determine what your OSHA span is if you need a cutoff that's different than the 40 feet requirement. Uh, you can set these other settings in here. And that will deal with the joist setup. So the next thing we're going to be doing is making sure that Job North is in fact matching what we have on our plans, which in this case it is. So we're good to go there. And then you're going to want to peruse your steel grades, just in case you've got a supplier that's giving you grade 50 channel instead of grade 36 or uh, something else to that effect. You're going to need to be able to set that in such a way that you're going to get what you want by default instead of having to choose it every time because you've left A36 as your default. We need to go into our design criteria and you're going to want to check on your connection design method. Now this is going to be copied forward from that previous job so if you've got a different ASD, if this is LRFD, you're going to need to check on that. You also need to look at the moment load configuration to make sure that you're getting kip feet and not kip inches as I have been burned on that before. 
taking a look at all of your standard connection specifications. That should be about it. So that's how we set up new projects in SDS2. Do you have different ways that you like to set up your projects? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you like this video and would like to see more videos like it, please like and subscribe. I'm Matt Hand with United Structural, 